Today, we take a walk around our local area, head back to medieval France to enjoy an amazing chateau, and make some fresh jam from our fig tree. It's such a beautiful day out today, I've decided to go for a walk. Why don't you join me? are in a castle right now. Um, I saw a note in the market in Tivia yesterday uh, about a walking group that was celebrating the pilgrimage of Saint-Jacques de Compostelle and they are doing a 10 kilometer walk this morning and we arrived a little late and some kind people gave us a ride to the first stop which is this chateau. Uh, I will look up the name because we're not quite sure where we are Bruz and, Bruzac. and the walking group is going to catch up with us here and then I think Steve and I will take the road back to where our car is in Saint-Pierre-de-Cole. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait Bien, Alors voilà, on, on essaie de maintenir ce château euh, dans l'état. Difficile de le reconstruire, mais au moins le maintenir dans l'état. Et puis surtout le faire vivre. Voilà, c'est pour ça qu'on fait des animations en été et puis, et puis hors saison aussi. <rire> Steve, you might want a duck. <rire> Each year in France, there's a weekend that chateaus open up to the public and have displays and concerts and all sorts of things to entertain. This year we went to Jumelac Castle, which is only about a half an hour away, to enjoy some medieval fun.
Good morning. So this is obviously a very different day. A little rain today, but that won't hurt what I'm going to do. I've put down the needle and thread because I'm going to try something different. There's lots of beautiful trees on this property. It's really gorgeous. This obviously, a fig tree. I don't think I've ever seen one before. I've certainly never been this close to one. So I found a recipe, at least Steve found a recipe for me for fig jam. So I'm gonna pick some figs and we're gonna see what we can do with it. Here we go. Find, the right, find some ripe ones. They just come right off. And we're gonna cut that off. And for every all of you who know a lot more about this than I do, thank you. You can send your comments. And thank you for the very nice comments about the needlework. I appreciate it. Okay, so it's gonna take a while. We have to get four cups. So when we get it done, we'll show you. I have to cut them and let them sit overnight. So we'll show you that part tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Day two, we'll see how this is goes. This is where we are so far. So the figs were all cut up. It said, cut the fig in half and cut it into nine each half. My math isn't really good. So I just kind of cut them up in small sizes, put sugar and lemon on, left it overnight. So what we've got left here, if I can get this around off, is the, it's all turned very juicy. I'm supposed to take the lemon bits out, like so, and then I have to put the whole thing on the stove. Whoops, losing figs. Put the whole thing on the stove and cook it for about 40 minutes, and of course put it in sterilized jars. So, we're hoping for the best. As I say, I'm new at this, so we'll see how it goes, but hopefully we'll show you a lovely finished product. That we're going to taste. See you later. So, got the jam cooked. I think it's turned into jam. And we got two jars out of it, which was quite, quite wonderful. Um, there might be a secret ingredient, which I can only allude to, but we have an expert here who's going to try the jam and let us know what he thinks of it. Yeah. It looks good. It smells amazing, actually. And it's great that we got so much. So I'm going to give it a little taste test and see what we got. That looks, looks amazing. Mmm. Yay. Good job. And oh, that's really good. we've got a wonderful, one of our lovely granddaughters is filming. So aren't we lucky? It's perfect. It's a family. It's a family thing. I'm glad you like it. I'm just gonna finish this. That's great. Jimmy. Good job.